Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, well, you already know what we're talking about. I got it right behind me, and you clicked on the thumbnail, so it's pretty self-explanatory what we're gonna be talking about. Um, the reason I'm wearing these glasses is because I'm feeling extra cool, because, I don't know, I, I don't know what else to say except, um, I told you so. Bruh. <laughs> you know, honestly, um, but you guys already know, I'm not that kind of guy. Otherwise, I would've been making videos about I told you so for, I don't know, a year and a half now or whatever, um, but I have it. In fact, I've been doing the opposite. I've actually not been talking so much about this. I talk about it from time to time, but the reality is, is that that's not something I talk about anymore on a regular basis because again, it's already at the point where, you know, all this stuff, you know, came true. It all actually happened and, and, and now what? You know what I mean? Like, what, what, I'm not the kind of guy to just rub it in or anything like that. And what am I talking about? What am I talking about? Well. You know, ever since, you know, I've had this YouTube channel um, and I started talking about, you know, my real thoughts about what I really think was going on in the world after, you know, um, learning for myself, you know, what was really going on. Um, I, I figured out, I, I looked at the United States of America, I looked at Europe, I looked at Canada, I looked at all, a lot of these countries. Uh, but basically, I was looking at the U.S. more than anything else, because that's where I come from. That's my home. Um, and I realized, oh, my God, you know, we are going into, you know, literally, you know, we're literally going into, um, what's this over here? Oh, this. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> we're literally going into communism. Sorry. I get distracted easily. I don't know if you noticed that. Um, some of you guys already know. I have a very short attention span. Oh, look, a bird! <laughs> but we're going into communism. We are in communism. Communism is already here. Depending on where you are, depending on how severe um, these, uh, you know, this whole thing is uh, taking effect, you know, right around you. Um, but again, you know, you can see it right now within the U.S. alone. We're going to just kind of talk about the U.S. for a moment. <clears throat> we'll talk about other countries here and there, but... You know, we all know that the U.S. is like the main, uh, you know, um, situation here. But anyways, long story short, um, you know, you can see it like in some states, you know, at the moment, um, you know, they're going into full communism, socialism, tyranny, you know, the whole, you know, the whole thing, fascism, and other states are not. You know, other states are, you know, going the complete opposite direction. And, um, you know, when it comes to like other countries, you know, look, look at Canada as a country, look at other countries in Europe, look at Australia, look at all these other places around the world, you know, where they're straight up going into, you know, uh, communism, straight up fascism, you know, straight up, you know, uh, taking away all your rights. And we are now, you know, the ones that are going to tell you how to think end the story. And, um, you know, you're seeing, you know, this whole thing kind of like play out, you know, um, all around the world. Uh, um, it was already kind of happening before the pandemic, you know, before this whole thing happened. Um, this whole pandemic, whatever you want to call it, um, basically was the thing that exacerbated this whole thing. It was a, was a catalyst to really get things into motion. Because up until then, they already had the plans, they already had it all set, they already had it, it was all going to happen. You know, they already were taking the preliminary steps, they were taking already the measures in order to, you know, get the public all around the world in order to think one way, a certain way, and uh, be okay with certain things. So, for example, whether it was things as global warming, whether it was globalism, you know, one world harmony, government money, whatever it was, you know, they wanted to get rid of, uh, you know, they wanted to get rid of paper money. They wanted to get rid of, uh, you know, your rights. They want to get rid of your guns. They want to get rid of all these things. Okay. And, um, you know, so far, you know, they were only able to get, they were only able to get so far before, you know, they got to this point. So, you know, the, the, what they tried to do, you know, I guess from my estimation was that they were trying to use this whole virus thing as a, an excuse to bring the whole economy, the whole everything to a stop. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus! In order to bring on, you already know, you guessed it, the Great Reset, okay? And, um, you know, we're already in the midst of the Great Reset. There's no... Um, you know, doubt about it. You know, there's no real, you know, in the sense of like questioning the fact, you know, whether this whole thing is real, if it's happening, if it's not. Look, it's happening. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. It's, we're in the midst of it. 
it's we're in the middle of it right now and um it's not you know it's not gonna end well if you don't wake up and you know literally realize what's going on and start preparing you know because it doesn't matter where you are um you know your the place of where you live right now could be very safe or could be very um not safe you know what i mean um you know right now we're seeing all kinds of things like i was just watching literally on instagram on the news you know just seeing all kinds of things that people post and now all of a sudden it seems that you know there's news outlets out there that are you know constantly now talking about a zombie apocalypse Bruh. like what the fuck you know like are you serious you know you turn on to you like your local you know uh, nbc affiliate you know you know uh fox 13 you know como news or whatever the hell it is you know um here you know you know talking from wichita kansas anyways even them you know they're talking about a zombie apocalypse they're talking about you know hey you know what can you do um in order to get ready for a zombie apocalypse what are the safest places what are the most dangerous places you know what are you what should what should you do what kind of supplies what kind of this what kind of that and it's like are you kidding me right now so you know look guys at the end of the day, I, I'm not going to be sitting here and regurgitating what every other channel talks about. You know, I'm not going to sit here and talk about, you know, like, oh, my God, you know, the exacts of, uh, you know, what the virus is doing, what it's not doing, what it could do, what, what, what the implications, you know, this theory, that theory. No, man. No, I'm here to just t tell you guys to wake the fuck up for those of you that have it um, to the to the fact, to the reality that things are going on. OK, we're in the midst of whatever the hell is going on now what is going on look a lot of the things are pretty obvious and they're in your face okay but a lot of things we still don't have any idea but we can have an idea we can we can kind of figure it out if we just do a little i don't know thinking you know and stop being npcs now again i know most people watching this and most people out there trying to wake themselves up or learn um you're not npcs you know you are free thinkers you're not zombies but again guys you know we really got to take it to the next level and and, and uh, think outside the box. If all of a sudden now we're starting to see all kinds of shit about a zombie apocalypse, there's going to be a zombie apocalypse. Hey, careful for the zombies. Well, maybe um, we should prepare for that. Now, if you really want to look at it, um, the zombie apocalypse is already here. We're already surrounded by zombies. You know, the zombies are, you know, the people that are still, hey, you got to put on your mask. Hey, you got to take 13 vaccines. Hey, uh, believe Dr. Fauci no matter what. Hey, yada, 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 yada. You know what I mean? Hey, believe in government. Hey, believe, you know, um, that they have our best interests. You know what I'm saying. You know who these zombies are. The zombies are also the same ones that are on their phone all day doing absolutely nothing. The zombies are, you know, um, they've been around us for a very long time. You know, the same ones that, you know, just regurgitate what they hear on mainstream media and they don't do any thinking for themselves or any kind of uh, digging or any kind of understanding. Look, um, the other day, um, I, I found a video, um, I, and by the way, I'm, I'm, I only put certain things in the background because I know, you know, there's copyrights, there's this, there's that, I'm just trying to avoid all that. But anyways, I saw a video on Instagram where it was this guy just kind of going around um, and, and interviewing people um, that were wearing their mask as to why they were wearing their mask, and the good majority of people were just basically saying, oh, because, I don't know, it makes me feel safe. Oh, well, I'm wearing it because I don't want people to think that I'm another political party. Oh, I'm wearing it because um, I'm trying to just make others around me feel better. Oh, I'm, but none of it, none, no one is really wearing it for their own health or safety or whatever. You know what I mean? And in fact, it's, it's all this other stuff that has nothing to do with the actual, again, virus or the situation. Why are you wearing a mask outside? It feels weird not to. I just like it. I got used to it. I don't mind wearing it. I guess I'm just used to it, I guess. I just have it on. I forgot it was on. You forgot it was on? Are you vaccinated? Why are you wearing a mask outside? What's your thought process? No comment. I just feel like I have to wear it. I don't know why. I just want to wear it. Yeah, I guess like my friends wear them, so I'm like, if I'm... I might as well this too. I like, feel like I won't take off my mask until everybody does. Yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> we have been very role modeling, right? I mean, it's just it, it, there's a lot of anxieties with taking the mask off, you know, for the first time. So it's because probably, it's been so long. Yeah, it's like a social anxiety at this point. It's just you know mental well-being and stuff. So it's 
virtually impossible to get coronavirus outside while you're vaccinated. Okay. Does that change your thought process at all? I mean, not really, I'm just gonna keep wearing it. I personally still wouldn't want to take the, the risk anyway, and I don't trust anyone else, so I'm just doing it for my own Even health. if the science said it was like basically impossible, it still doesn't matter? Yeah. Extra precaution. Because I want to protect others, and there's still risk no matter what, so. So the science says it's virtually impossible to get the coronavirus you're vaccinated or spread it while you're outside. Sure. Does that change your thought at all? I, I know that, but it okay. also sets an example, a uh, visual example. That's how I feel sometimes, I just want to put it on. Because you almost feel like that, like almost a compulsion to do it because we've yeah. been doing it for so long. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly the right thing to say. It's like a pacifier. It's very little interesting. Kid has his pacifier. Sure. You want to take it away, I'm surprised, don't take it away. I like virtue signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, what's it supposed to do? It's also a little bit of a protest, in a way. The, the protest being like, being... Well, I shouldn't be uh, given the privilege to not wear a mask. Not only have I been double vaccinated, I had COVID. So you're triple. I'm triple. So why? So why do you, why do you uh, think you're doing it? I think, I think... It's virtually impossible to get coronavirus outside while you're vaccinated. Oh, oh okay. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's because um, I have been so infuriated people who didn't wear a mask when the whole year. So it's like a display of, I still care. Like my roommate this year was gonna be from Singapore before everything changed. And uh, I would just see videos on his Instagram of like, going out clubbing and stuff just because it was safe over there and it was kind of like oh man like if we had actually handled this well be able to like do stuff but i'm just stuck inside if we handle it better we could be doing x than everybody else yeah exactly let's yeah, take them off come on take them off right, come right, on oh my you God. do this to come to peer pressure jeez <laughs> there's a meme out there going around you know basically saying uh hey um there's a there's a, there's a shortage in the u.s there's a shortage of conspiracy theories because, well, all of the conspiracy theories already came true, all right? And that's kind of like another reality of things. I mean, you know, for the longest time, you know, um, you know, when they were talking about the vaccine, um, people like, whether it's Alex Jones or whoever was out there, you know, they were speaking and saying like, hey, you better be careful. That vaccine is gonna, you know, alter your DNA and change your DNA. And look, and even people like me were like, bro, come on, man, give me a, you know, you know, give me a break here. But no, sure enough, you can go to the CDC yourself. You can read it yourself. You can read exactly how these vaccines work and how do they work? Exactly what Alex Jones said a long time ago and others have said a long time ago. So, you know, to me, it's, it's more about, you know, you as an individual out there have to question. And, and people out there have to question. For those out there that are, you know, unwilling to question, and are more than happy to continue following orders, well, I don't know what else to say except, you know, welcome to what you've created. You know, um, anyone out there that they cannot see with their own eyes what's happening, what's going on, where we're headed, again, I don't know what to tell you. So for example, you know, in a lot of parts of the world right now, you know, the whole, you know, communism, fascism, that whole thing is coming and it's coming in, 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 a, in a way that we never thought it was going to come. It, it came through the vaccine, through the virus, through this whole, you know, situation that has come about with this. Um, in, in a lot of parts of the world, you know, again, you know, whether in the US or Europe or whatever, it's all about the proper pronouns, the proper way to speak. You better not say the wrong thing. If you, you know, all that stuff, you know, and again, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, give you all the talking points and all that because I already have in other videos and other individuals, okay, have done so before as well. The point I'm making is, is that we're already here, you know, for anyone out there that has any doubt whatsoever in which, you know, the U.S. is it turning communism or not, look, guys, in my honest opinion, I'm not even going to be optimistic anymore. I mean, look, I'm very optimistic, okay? But what I'm saying is, like, I can't be sitting here and be pretending to be optimistic and, I don't know, I guess lie to you, lie to myself about what's really going on. But the reality is, is that, you know, unfortunately, the U.S. is already falling. Uh, has already, has already fallen. Sorry, I misspoke. The U.S. has already fallen, okay? to the hands of fascism, to the hands of communism, to the hands of, uh, you know, the Chinese. I mean, for lack of a better uh, description, you know, uh, the Chinese have come into the U.S. Um, and, and uh, 
in, an, uh, in, in ways that we never thought possible, okay, which was, you know, um, they've infiltrated us from within and they have basically, in a sense, you know, um, turned our whole system upside down, turned our, our whole way of life into their way of life, okay? Because everything that's going on right now, okay, um, in our country, Everything about, you know, um, you gotta love everybody, um, rights for everybody, you can't say the wrong thing. You know, everything that's going on with the societal aspect, you know, um, when it comes to the inclusiveness and when it comes to all of that stuff. Listen, guys, again, if you know anything about communism, socialism, you know, how all the fascism, how all these things have been coming up, how they come about, you know, whether it's Cuba, you know, whether it's Russia, China right now, you know, whatever, all any country like that. I mean, it's all about equality. It's all about making everybody um, the same. It's all about, you know, making sure that you don't have an opinion because your opinion doesn't count. It's it's what it's not what you want. It's what it's better for the collective, for the everyone, for the whatever. And so it's like it's pretty obvious. OK, it's pretty obvious where this is going with the U.S. It the only the only faction of, uh, of individuals out there um, that could fight this, that could defeat this, that could push back on this are literally just standing there doing nothing, you know, which is, you know, my brothers out there, the true Americans, the ones that are all about, um, you know, protecting uh, the United States, the Constitution, the rights, you know, the, all that shit. I mean, why are they not doing anything about it? In fact, look at right now, right now, right now, um, so many cities around the U.S., are burning to the ground. Um, there's riots, you know, all over the place on a regular basis. Um, you know, for, if you're out there in one of these cities, please leave down below in the comments, you know, where you're at and what's going on in your city. But at the end of the day, look how they, and I'm not here defending one side or the other. You guys already know that I'm, uh, I'm just a, a casual observer here. I'm not even, I'm not affiliated with anyone or any team or anything. I'm just a casual observer, um, observing things from afar. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, at the end of the day, um, look at how, you know, the left, for example, has been attacking, you know, the conservative right. There's been, been attacking, you know, anyone out there that has any opinion that is against theirs. Um, they eventually took over office and, um, you know, the event that happened you know, um, after the election or during, um, I mean, the inauguration or whatever, I don't know whether during the whole whatever, I don't want to say certain words or certain whatever, but you know what I'm saying? Like um, that whole event has been turned into, you know, that is the end of this country. That is the end of uh, what's going on here, you know, and, as, and turned into, again, the, the word that they use, which is an insurrection. Um, as opposed to what they're actually doing, which they're the ones that are causing the insurrection. They're the ones that are flying their Antifa, Black Lives Matter, um, whatever flag you want to name over the U.S. flag. You know, they're the ones that are out there, you know, declaring victory and uh, and changing, you know, um, our way of life in order to make it their way of life, which again, you know, it's the same, you know, you know, thing that I've been talking about for a very long time. I never thought that it was actually going to happen and uh, we're going to come to the U.S., but it, it's here. It's it's it was it was here. It's been here for a long time, and now it has risen. You know, ever since uh, this new president took office, we have seen it. Okay, and it's again, guys. Look, I don't want to even single out the U.S., but there's many parts of the world that are now turning one way. Okay, which is you know the whole fascism, socialist, communism, communism way. Um, Do you know the way? You know, right now I'm living in Mexico. And in Mexico, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm in the Yucatan Peninsula. And in this area, this area has turned all of a sudden just like, um, you know, certain parts of the U.S. Or, or other parts of Europe, you know, where everything is in lockdown. You know, we're in lockdown right now. Or, you know, whether, you know, there's certain rules or restrictions and all these other things. Um, while the rest of Mexico is open like Florida. The rest of Mexico is, is open like nothing. But in these little enclaves, you know, they are putting these things. So it's, uh, you know, the same thing. And in other, other parts of the world, like, for example, in a place like Canada, you know, they're using the whole country and they're locking that whole thing down. And they're putting, um, you know, implementing, you know, their draconian measures and doing all that fascism lockdown thing there. So basically what's happening is that all around the world, depending on where you are, 
um, and depending on the people around you, um, if the people around you want communism, socialism, fascism, you know, want that, well, it's coming to a neighborhood near you. Because even me, myself, I am now considering maybe not living where I live anymore and moving either to another part of Mexico or another part of the world because I don't want to, I, I, this is the reason I left the U.S. for the things that are going on here. And um, and I don't want to be a, a part of that. You know what I mean? If anything, I, I would just return back to Florida and be there on a, on a regular basis as opposed to a part-time basis. You understand? So um, the reason I don't is because it's money. And just, you know, be honest with you. <laughs> It's like five times cheaper to live here than it is in Florida. But I digress. Um, you know, that brings me to another point. You know what I mean? Like how I know that a country like the U.S., um, you know, is, is going to be falling into, you know, the, the, it's already fallen into fascism, communism, that whole thing. It's not even a question anymore. Um, you know, before it was just a theory. Sorry, my back is killing me a little bit here. Um, <laughs> Anyway, it's not just a theory anymore. This is the fact already, you know, the fact that, you know, this, the country has already fallen and now, you know, you you guys are now hitting hyperinflation mode, you know, or, you know, in, first of all, inflation, hyperinflation, it's all coming um, where, you know, all the money that they're printing is, you know, now causing a, you know, adverse effect on the rest of the economy. On top of the fact that they stopped the economy altogether, on top of the fact that they're giving people money um, to stay at home and not go to work and they're stopping the whole supply chain and it's stopping all kinds of things, which is making me very worried um, for go, you know being back home. That's another reason I don't go back home because I know no matter how crazy or stupid things get out here in Mexico, um, everybody has a garden. Everybody has the ability to still do capitalism and sell and, and live and all that shit. They're not going to starve that sense. You know, they might, you know, you know, uh, put up with certain things. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, they ha when you have the ability, it, it changes things a little bit. You know, in the U.S., you don't even have the ability to grow your own food, get your own water um, from the clouds. You know, in some places it's illegal to even capture rainwater. And I can go on and on. So, you know, in the U.S., you know, they're attacking the oil system, you know, the, the they're, they're attacking the, what is it, the, the energy sector. They're already attacking the, the food sector, the transport sector, the supply chains. They're attacking everything. In fact, the same guy um, that, you know, um, is behind the whole um, Great Reset, you know, that guy, he himself has already said that, you know, the next thing that's coming, the next thing that should be, you know, um, appearing. In fact, he said this a while ago and it's already happening. So whatever, I guess, you know, I should have warned you guys earlier, but you guys should know by now. Um, but anyways, he said that now we're going to be going through a series of cyber attacks that is going to be affecting the infrastructure and affecting your way of life and affecting everything. So now it's going to be cyber attacks, you know, uh, get ready for that. We've already seen a bunch of them affect you guys and they're going to be more coming. Um, and then the, the, the last, you know, the next thing, you know, the next phase is uh, the, the whole uh, idea behind uh, global warming and how that is going to be the, the thing, you know, the next thing, you know, hey, we're going to keep you guys locked up and we're going to keep the economy closed and we're going to start, you know, doing this and doing that and we're going to stop doing X, Y, Z all because of global warming. I mean, you guys are already used to it. What are you guys worried about? Just stay home and work from home and don't leave your home because it's going to just pollute the world. And look, you know what? You know, let's, you know, there's pollution out there already. Oh, maybe that's what those chemtrails are for. Maybe that's what all this other crap is there for. But anyways, you know, they might be doing some stuff out there to to pollute the world. So, you know, you know, or, or, or whatever to keep you indoors anyway. So, look, guys, we don't know how all this stuff is going to manifest, but it's it's already happening. It's already manifesting. You know, a lot of people are they're saying out there, oh, we might be going to war with China. We've been at war with China already. All right. I don't want to get into the whole complicated situation there, but we've been in a hot war already um, and it's 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 only getting going to get exacerbated. In fact, the war has already been going on. And it's and right now, a lot of people think that, you know, there's a, a cold war and that we might spark a hot war. And um, that is what, you know, um, everyone is trying to avoid China, U.S. and everybody because it's going to affect the economies and it's going to affect the dollar and the this and the that. No, the reality is that there's already a hot war going on. For anyone out there that studies these things already knows that. And this hot war um, is, is, is actually a proxy war. OK, again, you look all the shit up. Don't take my word for it. Don't ever take my word for it. Right. You should do your own 
don't study. Maybe that's why a lot of you guys never prepared because you guys had to study instead of just taking my word for it. Remember, this is for entertainment, pur entertainment purposes only, right? Oh. Right? Don't be taking my word for it. But anyways, guys, there's already a war going on. It's already been a hot war. I mean, are you not aware of all the killing and all the stuff that's going on out there well if you're not you should start making yourself a little bit more aware about what's going on out there by the way the reason i don't keep those glasses on is because they give me a headache and i can't see anything honestly i'm blind <laughs> i'm not that blind but anyways you get my drift the point is oh, you gotta fix there you go okay but anyways the point is is that we've already been in a war it's, it's already been in a hot war in fact you know this war um is uh the hardest the most difficult part of this war for all sides is trying to keep it a secret from you guys, from the people. Because the thing is already going on. If you're in the military, you know this already. If you study any kind of military, anything, you already know what's going on. If, you're, if, you, if you even pay attention to news from any other point or part in the globe right now, especially on the eastern side, you know, the Asia side of things, you already know what the fuck is going on. It's been going on. Okay, like let me throw another fucking thing, you know, with Taiwan for a minute, you know, did you guys know that 90% or like 95%, but let's just say 90%, okay, let's go, fuck it, let's be optimistic, 85%, 85% of all microchips, of all chips, all chips, okay, are... Are, are, are made and they come from Taiwan. So imagine all of a sudden now that China actually does take over Taiwan, okay? And there's like just a war. Forget that they take over, but let's just pretend that they just, something happens there, okay? And now all of a sudden there's a war there or there's some sort of aggression. There's just something going on there. Well, how do you think that's gonna affect the world? Okay, and how do you think that's gonna affect, you know, the whole microchip production? You know, hopefully, you know, other countries can pick up the slack and they can start, you know, producing microchips, but anyone that knows anything about microchips and, and knows anything about that industry, it's, it, they, these things take years, okay? They don't take months or days, okay? So, just to put that in perspective, um, and there's just so many other things that are going on you know, around the world right now. And so, you know, basically the whole uh, communism thing, you know, right now, this whole thing that's going on with that, this is nothing new. This is nothing that we haven't seen already happen, especially in recent history. You know, as, if you ask your great grandparents, oh wait, they're dead. Hmm. I wonder what that, maybe that's why the cycle continues every hundred so years. It's after they die. Maybe there's something to that. There is. Anyways, that's why the cycle keeps repeating every hundred so years. Because the reality is, is that the only ones that are the, the only ones that remember and can tell the story um, of what happened over a hundred years ago for reals is your great grandparents, and they're mostly dead. Okay, or your grandparents if they're old enough. Okay, um, and that's the thing. And and they're, if they're alive and if their their mind is still you know uh, available to to let you know what really happened. So. You know, that's a thing. I mean, and again, if you really think about it, you know, right now, someone to tell you, if someone, someone that would be alive and really be able to tell you what happened in the 1920s would have to be 120 years right now. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyways, so just to put things into perspective, guys, you know, that's why these things repeat, you know, since the beginning of time. There's nothing new here. It's the same old, same old. And, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, uh, that's why you got to study history and you got to figure out what is best for you and what you should do in order to make, you know, your life mucho better. One second. And we're back. So sorry about that. I know you probably didn't even notice. It's probably like a two second edit for you. But yeah, I, I literally stopped recording for like 10 minutes because I had not only the garbage truck, but then Gizmo was uh, barking and then I had another truck park out front for a delivery and I could go on and on. And before you knew it, it was like 10, 15 minutes later and I'm like, oh my God, I lost my train of thought. So we're back, we're here. We're queer, I guess, you know what I mean, right? Everyone these days is queer. Anyways, in fact, I, I, I identify as, you know, um, human. How dare whatever you? Whatever the hell that means, right? Anyways, so. Yeah, so back to what we were saying, guys. Look, at the end of the day, you know, we're in the middle of this whole thing. You know, the whole communism conversation, the whole fascism conversation, you know, that thing is already kind of long and gone. You know, we're basically now in the beginning stages of 
turning into a communist state. Into, it's already fascism, okay? Um, depending on what country, depending on what, what level you know you're at, depending on what region, depending on you know what I mean, depending on how far it's already gotten. You know, in a place like where I live right now, in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, it's it's fascism. The rest of Mexico is like Florida. Um, when it comes to Canada, all of Canada is poor, pure fascism. Um, in the U.S., it's only in a few spots, not everywhere. Um, and, and I could go on and on. I mean, again, you know, uh, the whole, even the U.S., you know, the U.S., the way that the elections went, um, you know, uh, I don't want to get too into it, but you guys already know, everyone already knows what happened and how it happened, and the rest of the world, the whole world, remember, I'm looking at it from the outside perspective, and like the whole world, you know, saw that the elections, you know, um, were, you know, just like any other Banana Republic election. You get what I'm saying? And uh, when when they saw that, they literally saw like, oh my God, is this the end of, you know, the you know the empire? Is this what the end of the whole thing? If you look at all the money printing, again, you don't have to take my word for it. You know, um, look at go to the Fed, the Federal Reserve website. Okay, and you can see all the money printing that's been happening in the last like year, year and a half. Um, even before that, all the money printing. Look at the Dow Jones, you know, where we're at now, you know, all time highs every other day. Um, you know, just going back to the whole presidency, um, you know, right now, still, about, I think six months in, right? Are we six months in into the new president? And um, the, the capital is still surrounded by soldiers, is still surrounded by, you know, army personnel, is still surrounded, and most people are not even allowed to get close to the White House. Again, this is from what I understand. If I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But at the end of the day, you know, from what I understand, it seems like the U.S. is already under siege. Um, if um, this was the most popular president ever, well, then why is it that, you know, the former president can fill, um, you know, stadiums still to this day, but the new president, the, the actual president, it cannot fill um, a cafeteria, a lunchroom. You know, uh, so I mean, a lunchroom cafeteria, you know what I'm saying, you know, what I mean? a little high school auditorium. OK. And so, you know, that puts a lot of things into question as to what's really going on and uh, where we're going with all this. Now, you know, there's a million theories, you know, saying, oh, we're going into civil war. You know, oh, my God, we're going into um, war with China. We're going. Listen, the reality is, is that all of those things are going on at the same time. OK, we're already at war with China, Russia, the Middle East. You know, half the countries in the world, that's that. Um, you know, we're at war with each other, okay? And within the U.S., everyone's at war with each other, you know? Um, it's really hard to find any kind of solidarity, any kind of anything um, when it comes to, you know, a, a group of like-minded individuals. Um, everyone is already being hunted down for their thoughts, for their way of life, um, for everything. You know, again, you know, the, the current president, um, the current regime in the U.S. is is going after people that voted for Trump, that voted for the opposite. Um, you know, everyone that has uh, supported um, the the conservatives. You know, conser anyone that supported the other team is now paying the price. Um, they're getting you going after them, and and I could go on and on. I mean, you know, it's already here and it's already happening. And um, the reality is, is that, you know, this is nothing new. This has happened in history many, many, many times before. Um, this is just now happening in the U.S. And, uh, you know, in order for it not to happen in the U.S., well, first of all, most of you guys, you know, that don't know the history should study the history. And for those that already know the history, need to be doing things anything in order to prepare yourself so whether it's you know to fight against this or at the very least to get out save yourself you know and uh, make sure that you and your family are at the very least alive when all this is said and done as opposed to you know just cannon fodder okay um so it's up to you you know what i mean it's up to you what you want to decide to do and how you're going to go about this but i think at this point especially if you're still watching this video you guys already have a really good idea of not only what's going on um but you know what's going to happen and um instead of sitting there idle instead of just sitting there and hoping for the best sitting there and hoping things change you know, uh, sitting there and pretending that these things are not going to happen. You need to pretend like they are going to happen 
and look around you and know that they're happening, okay? And make a decision, okay? Make a decision on what you're gonna do for you, for yourself, you know, for you, for you and your family, okay? All right, I'm sorry, uh, just, uh, anyways, you gotta figure out what you're gonna do, okay? Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to mean leave the country. You can stay in the country, but start figuring out what a overseas bank account is. You know, start figuring out how to, you know, uh, get, you know, not your, your American passport, but passports in other countries. Start figuring out, you know, um, a just in case. You know what I mean? If you're, especially if you're doing pretty well, um, there's no reason why you shouldn't have insurance. And that's all these things are, you know, when uh, when you're living in another country, um, when you're getting another passport, when you are diversifying by putting money in other bank accounts, especially, you know, not just offshore bank accounts, but like a Swiss bank account or investing in gold, silver, Bitcoin property, you know, not just in the U.S., but, uh, you know, elsewhere, you know, all you are doing is it's insurance. It's, it's all it is, is more than anything else. If you, if you value your hard work, if you value your, your wealth, if you value your life, if you value you know, all of these things and you need to do everything humanly possible to protect your wealth, to protect yourself, to protect everything you've ever worked so, everything you've worked so hard for. And we're back guys. Yeah, sorry about that interruption. Again, this time it was the water pump and then I got a phone call and then it's just, yeah, so it gets, it, these things are not that, I mean, uh, these things are not that hard. I can't even get the words out of my mouth at the right time. Thoughts, mouth, trying to connect everything at the same time, having all these auxiliary things all around you. It's a little difficult to do sometimes, but you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I love doing these and I love the challenge behind all this. And, uh, you know, that brings me to a, a, a good point, a point that I wanted to make. So the reality is that as I'm making this video, um, this is a re-recording. I actually recorded a video yesterday or the day before. I forgot and I was going to edit it and put it up. Um, but as I was editing it, as I was going through it, I realized, oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> this is not good. This is terrible. This whole thing is just horrible. So I decided I had to re-record and redo this whole thing and the challenge behind all that. In fact, <clears throat> the, the first episode I was talking about, you know, literally um, comfort over freedom and how you know putting yourself in comfortable in, in comfortable situations is bad and putting yourself in uncomfortable situations is actually good and how to take advantage of you know all that anyways but as i was just re doing the video i realized you know what bro you know in order for you to produce something really great you need to again you need to put yourself in an uncomfortable position which is delete this crap and then re-record something else and bam here we are so I just wanted to add that. I don't know. I don't even know why. I guess there's so many interruptions, and that was just uh, what came to mind. Also, I checked how much time I've already recorded. It seems like I've recorded a lot. So I think I'm going to end this episode here with this abrupt type ending. But look, guys, at the end of the day, I think you guys get the gist of it. You guys just want me to hear my thoughts. You guys want me to just talk and do all this stuff. I'm going to be doing some live streams coming up. Um, we're going to be doing more of these videos and so on and so forth. Okay. So um, yeah, guys, you know, if you could just bear with me as uh, we transition into, you know, me being able to, you know, set everything up so that I can just click record and go and start saying my thoughts like I used to um, I appreciate it thank you so much you know all of you guys have been here from the beginning all of you guys that just got here the other day all of you guys period in the story I love you guys thank you so much and you already know the deal if you like this kind of content don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon but more importantly than anything else please stay awesome and um, you already know I'll see you guys in the next one and please leave down below in the comments uh, if you have anything anything at all you want me to cover talk about and um, you know maybe I will you know maybe you guys have better ideas than I do so all right with that being said see you guys on the next one bye